It's obvious that not all probiotic strains are equal. You have bacteria and yeast. They are already very, very different. In fact, it depends on why do you use those probiotics. So you have probiotics which are added to food to make healthy food, better digestible, etc. But you also have probiotics which are used as food supplements and you have probiotics which are used as medication. And depending on the indication, uh, it's clear that not all probiotics are the same, so they are used for different indications. Their characteristics are also very different. Probiotic um, yeasts are much larger, they are much more resist than uh, probiotic bacteria, they are much more resistant to gastric acid, they are resistant to all antibiotics, while a lot of probiotic bacteria are not resistant to gastric acid, they are not resistant to a lot of antibiotics. So it's clear that not all probiotics are the same. In, on the contrary, each probiotic, I would say, is different from another. Well, when you use probiotics as a prescription, as a drug, um, I think you should require the same quality of evidence for activity and safety as for any other medication that you prescribe as a doctor. So when you use a probiotic in medication, you only use that probiotic for which there is clinical evidence, clinical studies performed with that product, not even that strain or that uh, uh, kind of probiotic, but I think it's important to have studies with the probiotic product itself as it, co as it is commercialized. Um, double blind randomized trials in the indication that you want to use that probiotic. So um, when you use it as medication, you need high level uh, quality of evidence of efficacy and of course also safety.